Hey! Hey, buddy, we're the ma effing film pig. That's yeah. right. That's GeekNation.com is the only web show on the internet that is not just videos of curious cats falling into snow because it's winter. My name's Stephen Falk. Yep. I'm hyped this year. <laughs> That's Todd Robert Anderson. Yo! Boom! Steve Skelton. Yo! Cats should know about snow by now. Oh shit. Motherfucking Lombardo Boy. Murder, murder on the first on yep. TNT. Murder in the first. Big ass spider on DVD. Yeah. Uh, Dawn of the Planet of the MF and Apes. <laughs> yeah. He's all up on everything. That's right. DVD, look, rent it. Look, we're hungry. <laughs> what do we do when we're hungry in the movies? Yeah. And we Pop eat popcorn. popcorn. Oh, 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 that's right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Fuck this shit. Fuck it. Drink. <laughs> Listen, you guys, for real. For real. You don't know what to see at the movies because you're fucking dumb. I, I'm kidding. <laughs> because you don't have time. You're busy. Here come, here come the letters. You're a yeah. family man. You're a f I'll bring the letters. I don't care. <laughs> bring the letters. Look, I'm reacting to what's happening in my environment. He's being he honest. He's being honest. being honest. He's going to keep using big words. You don't know, you don't know <laughs> things. Kid gloves are off! So... Uh, what, are you, what are you, what, what are you gonna do? Anyway. What, are you, what are you gonna do? You're not gonna go to Rotten Tomatoes. That's that site is for, for for pussies. You're not you're not gonna watch. Yeah. You're not gonna watch. Uh, uh, what's that guy with the mustache on the Today Show? That guy. Fuck that guy. Fuck that mustache, mustache guy. I hate uh, mustaches. Yeah. What you're gonna do is you're gonna <laughs> listen to. Suck. Our yes. Rap, we're gonna listen to ra rash judgments, and this is where the film pigs, the only film professionals you need to listen to, are gonna tell your we, dumb asses. Yeah. If you should see the movies coming out this Friday. Now it's January dumping ground. This is where studios dump the crap movies. January? Like using those like those giant dump trucks. Yeah. Yeah. The really big ones. They're like beep, beep, and you're like, oh, no, no, here come the shit movies. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mean to insult you guys, but you really are pretty <laughs> stupid. <laughs> What? <laughs> like, Already, like, 2015 like, is taking yeah. such a turn. Happy New Year. I uh. don't mean to insult you, <laughs> but you're a fucking idiot. I didn't say that. It's so he did. Look, he I, I just said, so, just, uh, 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 slack your jaw, drink your drink out of the wrong hole, Ooh, and what? Uh, listen to what Todd has to say. What's your right <laughs> What? Drink your drink out of your wrong hole. I am, uh, okay. Uh, my rash judgment is for a movie uh, that I'm pretty sure uh. is called Let's Kill Ward's Wife. Oh, what? Uh, it's a. That's uh, very specific. They call this. It, they call this a black comedy. What? Uh, that means dark. It, oh. Like in the, the the tone. It's not. It's not blackish. It's, it's not like top five. It's it's like dark humored. Uh, oh. It's about. Uh, a bunch of guys who have a friend who's played by Donald Frazon. Yeah. Uh, who's a nice guy? I scrubs. Met him once. Scrubs. Uh, yeah, huh. Scrubs guy. Um, and the and the uh, and the, the alien show. Yeah. And the alien show. He was and in the. Clueless, he was clueless. in. Yeah, the alien. Uh, the Skyline. 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 And the X's on, and on the TV X's. Land. <laughs> and, and I played. It's true. It's true. Oh, I was well, on the X's. Was on the X's. Yeah. I played a guy in an elevator who talked to Donald Frazon. <laughs> And anyway, so his wife is Mazel. like not nice. She's not a good person. Right. And Patrick Wilson wants his friends to kill her. So they kill her and then they have to cover it up. And it's hilarious because who would do that except a psychopath? Yep. Um, you can go see it if that's your kind of thing. If you liked Very Bad Things by Peter Berg, no. this might be uh, <laughs> up your alley. Uh, it's not necessarily my thing, but fret not. If you miss this, it's okay. Patrick Wilson is in another movie in which he plays a guy who kills women unnecessarily. <laughs> what? Uh, that one will have Katherine Heigl. It's going to be called Home Sweet Hell. It's coming down. The, Patrick Wilson wants to make a career out of killing ladies. Patrick Wilson, now, really? And, but it's funny. But you should stay home. Yeah, that, that sounds He's in the fun. Alamo. That's just All weird. right. Skelton. He's in the Alamo. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> now he's killing chicks. And now he's killing chicks. You asshole. guys, it's January, which means it's time for <laughs> time travel. Oh, of course. <laughs> and Let's movie, go back to last year when they were making good movies. The movie is Predestination, starring Ethan Hawke. 
Ooh. I'm wearing a costume from the Adjustment Bureau. He's always the fucking Mark and Claudia, that one. <laughs> and, uh, and he has a little time travel device <laughs> that makes hot. like windows break whenever he travels in time. Can you go Ooh. back to when he didn't cheat on Uma Thurman <laughs> and they're still married? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that would be that would introduce a paradox, and it would destroy the universe. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah, think you can. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is a, a time travel uh, show <laughs> based on an old Robert Heinlein story from with the oh, Spear the Spearig well, Spearig brothers, the guys who did uh, Daybreaker, Daybreaker, oh, oh, Daybreaker, the Vampire and Show and with that. Ethan Hawke. <laughs> And then um, they're Australian, right? Yeah, I think they're I think they're Australian. And Who you know, cares? I mean, what is the movie about? It's about <laughs> traveling. It's about You're getting traveling. Heckled by it's about water. traveling in time. <laughs> All right. Here's the it? thing. Here, here, here's the thing. I, I, I the Spear brother, uh, the Spear <laughs> brothers. I like, I like their visual style. I like the visual style of Daybreakers, but it was kind of a, you know, a, a so-so story-wise movie. So I think this is kind of the, might be the same thing. So I, I'm gonna hold off and I'm gonna rent it. I'm gonna get the the rental. I'm not gonna get jump to the theater. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Unless I have a time machine and maybe I've already. Oh, I have. It's time predestined. Time. Yeah. <laughs> it's predestined that I will rent this. Yes, oh, the awesome. What's up? I am so excited right now. <laughs> You seem it. I am though. I am. Your mustache is twitching. <laughs> Why are you excited? <laughs> because I'm fucking, I got to do uh, Taken 3 now. Yeah. Oh, uh, it looks oh. awesome. Taken 3, no Arabs. <laughs> fucking awesome. That's the tagline. <laughs> Taken 3, <laughs> no Arabs. <laughs> <laughs> so like, who's after him? I'm like, what are they going to do? And I watch the trailer. And, oh, the best thing in the trailer, you get Fabke Jansen dies right away. Aww. That's oh, that's why do people kill Fabke Jamke? She's a great looking dude, I know. <laughs> dude? I think she's you're great. confused. No, she was great. Ever since I saw her Nip Talk, I just can't do it. She played a man, whatever. Oh, oh. Right. <laughs> So since then, but yeah, she's great. So anyway, she dies. I love Fabke Jansen. And then Maggie I Grace, her daughter's in it again, but now she's a blonde, so she's stretching. <laughs> In this one, it's oh, stretching. Okay. Um, but then you're like, who's coming after him? A Forrest Whitaker's in it, and he's the cop who's chasing him. Okay, so basically, I like it's that. like it's like the fugitive. It's like you know, it's like the fugitive. Taken three. It's kind of like Harrison Ford in the Fugitive. Exactly. It looks really good. The daughter's still in it. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks awesome. It looks exciting. Everybody's coming after him. The CIA, the FBI, DA, Boy Scouts. DMV. <laughs> <laughs> they are coming after him, but go check it out. I'm gonna watch it, but I'm gonna watch it probably next year because I have two kids <laughs> and diapers. So, but I'm gonna watch it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably it go to like an 11 a.m. Yeah. Uh, yeah, show. Yeah, that's an 11 a.m. Yeah. In diapers. In di well, of course, in diapers. We'll go to the ArcLight in Sherman Oaks and we can drink at the bar. What? So, so for some of you um, growing up, uh, uh, reaching you know the tingly time of you know when you're like 12, 13, things are starting to change. I love tingly time. You may fixate on a sex symbol like uh, like Maggie Grace or Liam Neeson, depending on your gender or orientation. Um, and we thought it would be important that you know the film pigs what we fixated on, who we fixated on oh, in the movies as a youngster. Mm. Um, so we're gonna do a little talkie segment where yeah. we tell you who horned us up. Can I name? Oh, who, <laughs> who horned us up? Who horned us up? Who horned us up? Who made our our our, our <laughs> that, that who made our parts who horned us up? Uh, you know. Can I have an alternate title who, for who it? We wanted to kiss kiss. An alternate bang, title. Bang. She's got cooties, but I'd fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> That seems too on the nose. Uh, anyway, this is uh, this is uh, 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 this is what I just said. Um, you, you know, get that. Uh, get that. Oh, no, no, get no, it out. No. Oh, there it's it is. In the there it it's in the bottom. It's stuck in the bottom. It's stuck in the bottom. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, oh, roll it. Hey, this is uh, who horned me up when I was coming of age. It's Catherine Bach. But not what you think. It's not Catherine Bach from Dukes of Hazard, not Daisy Duke. It's Catherine Bach from Cannonball Run 2. All right? In 1982, it was Catherine Bach and Susan Anton were the Lamborghini girls. And that's what horned me up so much when I was a young lad. And ever since then, I've really liked jumpsuits. So my coming of age crush was uh, Miss uh, Carrie Green from Lucas and the Goonies. 
Um, there was a, a scene in Lucas where she swiveled on the chair on, a, on the hood of a car to talk to Charlie Sheen, and you could see a glimpse of her underwear, and I basically broke like three v VHSs uh, pausing that thing at the exact right time. Also, she was playing tennis, and her, her, her panties were visible when she made a shot and her little tennis skirt rode up. Uh, I really liked her. I looked her up, she's an entertainment lawyer now, and she still looks real cute. Carrie Green. When people ask me what my coming of age lady was, I usually say Cindy Morgan of Caddyshack. Um, she showed her breasts in that film, and in Caddyshack there's a scene where her and uh, Danny Noonan, she played um, Lacey Underall, and Danny Noonan was played by Michael O'Keefe, and there was like a sequence where she like was naked and he went down on her, and then, and then it crossfaded in this weird way to him being topless and her going down on him. And I wore that out. I wore that out on my VHS tape. There was a certain point where you couldn't see it because the tape was so fucked up. Um, but if I really think about it, if I really look deep inside myself, I realized that my first cinematic crush was on Elizabeth Shue. And it was because in The Karate Kid, outside of the mini golf arcade in Reseda that she went to with, <laughs> with the Karate Kid. Sweater. She had a sweater. Her breasts were large in the sweater. It didn't appear she was wearing anything to support the breasts, which is exciting. But outside of the arcade, they talked. They had a heart-to-heart -heart talk. And then they kissed. And when they kissed, when they pulled away from the kiss, you could see Elizabeth Shue's tongue come out of the Karate Kid's mouth. You could see the tongue. And I had not seen a tongue kiss at that point. And it made me very, very excited. And I realize now that really the only reason I liked leaving Las Vegas is because it was Elizabeth Shue <laughs> with Probably, if the Karate Kid represented me as a child, Nick Cage's character in Leaving Las Vegas represents me as an adult. And she poured vodka over her titties and, and then she drank it. And full disclosure here, full disclosure, when, oh, he drank the vodka, it was good. Full disclosure, I watch CSI to this day because Elizabeth Shue is on it. So I realize like, the, I saw the trigger effect, you guys. I like Elizabeth Shue. I have a TV one, Alyssa Milano. Ah! Alyssa Milano, we're the same age. Don't ask me how I know that. But um, growing up, seriously, Alyssa Milano and Who's the Boss, she was the first one. I was like, man, she's, she's a shit. And then, no, seriously, she's like the, probably the only like star of any kind that I, I just know that we're the same age or whatever. Then she did Commando and then she was in, I don't know, other shit. And I actually saw her one time on Melrose at one of these trendy stores and I was, ah, oh, she was wearing just a cowboy hat and a tank top. <laughs> Why are you fake smoking? Because I'm talking about Alyssa Milano, dude. This is my time. Shut up. Uh, also, come on. How could anybody forget Phoebe Cates? Ah, come on. Phoebe Cates, Fast Times at Richmond High. That was like my first boob experience. And then to the car song, Moving in Stereo. Like every time I hear that song, I'm like... Oh, wow, uh, I um, have never <laughs> wanted to know yeah. the uh, earliest sexual fantasies of my male friends before. Wait, Me so it's, either. It's weird that hey. you're just realizing that now. I got super uncomfortable when you were talking and got that erection. Clearly got an erection. <laughs> no. You go frame by frame, you see it come up and go down. Um, it's like that. Well, anyway, you guys. What about uh, mine? That was weird. That was weird. Yeah, you're the Russian. Because it weird. came out of your shoulder. Because you're. <laughs> listen, listen. You're the shoulder. Erection. We're gonna we're gonna bring this listen. under control. I started off with high energy. I'm ending low. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's great. Right. I'm I feel like, like I'm, that's the way you usually are. I'm like, I'm like a pixie song. <laughs>
Nice. Uh, and we're like the Pixies in that we don't like each other that much, and we've known each other forever. But we still just get up and perform. For money. Well, except no money. <laughs> yeah, well, that's... Uh, popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Lombardo. He's amazing. Shh. Lombardo. the first Thanks TNT. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's one of our favorite yeah, guests. Thanks so much, uh, guys. On behalf of Steve Skelton <sighs> and Todd Robert Anderson and the new GeekNation.com 2.0, Boom. Uh, I am Stephen Falk. Uh, we hope you're having a good 2015, and please come back next week. Uh, and until next week, the concession stand has been closed due to health code violations!